It wasn't too long ago that I was, you know, sitting in a university learning my um, Bayesian hierarchical statistics, and the next thing I know, we're throwing, you know, uh, GPS devices in hunks of meat to crocodiles, and uh, all the while working for Microsoft <laughs> Research. You might think you know the world's biggest software maker, but at its research labs in Cambridge, Microsoft seems to be doing things a little differently. Lucas Jopper is one of those thinkers. He's building tiny but powerful GPS tracking devices to follow endangered species across wildlife reserves. All of that information can be collated together to help um, empower the world's, uh, the world's scientific bodies to better understand the biodiversity crisis. Drew Purvis is harnessing the tech giant's big data capabilities to help us understand the environment and the impact of climate change. So there's almost no company that you can think of that shouldn't be placing their decisions within an environmental context. And yet, to date, those governments and businesses have not been able to get their hands on the information very easily, and the information that they've been able to get is not necessarily very reliable. The data collected could pinpoint air pollution or even suggest the best place for a skiing holiday next winter. Microsoft has been criticised for losing the initiative, losing its inventiveness. It's fighting to correct that. It now invests more than nine and a half billion dollars a year into R&D, channeling some of that budget to 1,100 scientists and engineers around the world to do what Cambridge Lab Director Andrew Blake calls blue sky research. Doing something just because it was interesting, and just because it was um, a kind of a challenge in, in computer science, eventually uh, yield of fruit. Of course there are lots of other things we've investigated where there hasn't been that link up but the the fact that the uh, that in some cases the link ups exist reinforces our belief that this is a good way to go about things. For Microsoft this lab is about creativity, about big ideas so big that in this office well they're even writing them on the walls. The race is still on to invent the next must-have software or hardware. Microsoft sales are still half that of rival tech giant Apple. But its team of researchers think they're on to something. Caroline Hyde, Bloomberg.